again to AA Home Garden. Guys, we're in the ending part of November. Most of the plants have died back, but my Cape Gooseberry keeps giving and giving. Guys, I've had so much Cape Gooseberry for this season already. And there's no end in sight, guys. I just came in, had a few snacks already. And then I'm going to take, see if there's any more so I can take it indoor for my little one. So while some of the leaves are changing to the autumn color, guys, there's just berries everywhere, guys. If you have a, if you don't have a Cape Gooseberry in your garden, please, wow, make sure you get one, guys. They produce so, so, so much. And if you can see, it's in a container. And guys are just setting up new shoots everywhere. So like for instance, this is a new shoot right here. If you can see right here. And if you follow it all the way up, guys, the, the it have fruits on it there. It's producing. So it send out a new one. It just sends shoots everywhere, guys. The tree. Oh, it's laden. There's so many gooseberries, guys. Mm -mm -mm. If this is in pot and producing so much, imagine if I had it in the ground. Guys, we're in autumn. Look, you can see all the leaf changes and trees just look dead all over. It is in the heart of autumn. And these will produce non-stop. The only thing with the Cape Gooseberry, guys, if this was outside in a total element, it probably would have stopped producing already. It's in the makeshift polytunnel. But as you can see, there's no door or anything so it's still getting some of the cool breeze, but it's a bit protected, guys, okay? So if you're growing these things and you want to munch all the way through winter, oh, the bloom is so pretty. If you want to munch all the way through winter, make sure you put it in a little bit of a covering. And if I had this in the greenhouse, I know it will produce even longer. So let's see if I can find one that's ready. <laughs> There's some good size on this thing, guys. I don't, okay, let's see if I can share some of these fat, juicy, plummy things. Look at the size of those, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Look at those. Mm -mm. You know, they call it Chinese lantern as well, guys. Look at the Chinese lantern. And guys, you know what's nice about these? The insect doesn't bother it much because it have its own like a covering, guys. Okay? It has its own like a covering. My son came around the other day messing around with this one. Whoopsie daisy. Almost lost it. So it have its own like a covering. And there's your juicy, delicious. Hey, Cape Gooseberry. Guys, are so good. So every, because the temperature have changed um, in the late part of summer, early early autumn i could have come in here every single day and get a minimum of two three but because the temperature have changed i have to make it every other two days now sometimes three days but you can see there's different stages let me munch on this one excuse me mm -hmm. and then this all i do with this one guys and now i'm gonna put this straight back in the pot that's a mulch mm -mm. i don't get rid of it guys i just put it straight back in the pot See if I go around here, as I have to be moving the branches out of my way. Look there, guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But I need to show you something. Hold on. Don't move. I need to show you something. Apart from my beautiful cape that is just spreading everywhere. That is so superb. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at it, guys. Let me know in the comment section what do you do with your cape gooseberry? Do you process it into jam or do you just snack on it, guys? Let me know. But I want to show you guys. These were some that I tried to root on for someone earlier in the year. And guys, can you see there's berries on it? This was the one I was trying to root. This one accidentally got broken off. Yeah. And it was fruiting and it continued to fruit. This one got broken off from that one. And now it's fruiting. But also, guys, I accidentally broke another branch. And I just put it in the ground right there. <laughs> That's so easy to catch, guys. I just put it in the ground right there. And look there, guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
So this one gonna stay in the ground and hopefully next year you're just gonna fill up all this section. Yeah, my papas have gone to sleep, guys. There's a papa. So hopefully next year, this will just fill up all the section there. So yes, guys, it's not hard to catch a Cape gooseberry. So if you know somebody with Cape gooseberry and you want a Cape gooseberry, so you can see all of these guys is just I put them back in the same container. So you can continue to mulch on. And guys, if you want a Cape gooseberry, just find someone with Cape gooseberry. They're so, so easy to catch. And guys, if you're munching, that's a nice thing about having these autumn um, berries. Where most of the things are finished in the garden, guys. You can keep munching. They're super beautiful. And guys, even late November... There's still a raspberry. Don't want to give up, guys. Doesn't want to give up. Oh, yes. Those are my Cape gooseberries. So I'm changing color under there. Almost time to munch on those. But do let me know how you enjoy your Cape gooseberry. So until next time, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell.